But you see what I'm saying? If your partner is doing this, think about what it means. Think about how you're supposed to respond to this. Are you supposed to respond to it by thinking, oh, you're right. I am a terrible mom. I'm going to live in shame and guilt. Is this no, but this is response? what no, but this is what we do. A lot of us, not everyone, but most of us, I'm we saying, internalize it. Well, what's a better response? Maybe you externalize some boundaries. Maybe tell them to f- off, or yes. and you can do <laughs> or, it with tact. Or I was just gonna say, or you can do it in a nice way and, and say what you said. Like I am doing my very best to be the best mom I can be. I would really appreciate your support and your love when I make a mistake. If you can't do that, then you may need to rethink our relationship or. Also, you could say to them, if you, when you are perfect and don't make mistakes, then you can criticize my mistakes and judge me. Yeah. Have you ever heard the phrase, let he who is without sin cast the first yes. stone? Basically, this is what it means. Yeah. We all make mistakes, so shut the fuck up. Don't judge because you're just as flawed and just as bad and you've made all your own mistakes in other areas or your own fields or whatever. So Exactly. Perfect. Hopefully this shows that making mistakes as a mom is a vital part of the process. You should never feel ashamed about it and you should definitely never let anyone make you feel ashamed for it. And it's the perfect chance for moms to practice setting boundaries and speaking their truth and sticking to their guns. And it's vital that you do it because otherwise it hurts your kid. 